the Remington Office Writer, a new kind of portable designed to give you the extra features you need. Hey there guys, what is up? It's me, Riley, and today we're going to be talking about something very interesting, typewriters. Now, if you're like me, you probably didn't give typewriters a second thought until you saw the documentary California Typewriter, which if you have Hulu and you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend it. Extraordinarily well done documentary, but watch at your own risk, because after watching the documentary California Typewriter, I kind of spent about $250 getting three typewriters. It was kind of a crazy part of my life. But it's something that I definitely don't regret. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about why you should own a mechanical typewriter in 2018. Here we go. Now, the first thing about typewriters that I love is that it's a device dedicated to writing. It writes, it does absolutely nothing else. And I think that that's really beautiful. If you're a writer like me, your two options for writing are a computer, and pen and pencil. When you have a typewriter, it gives you an intermediate option. It's the convenience and speed of writing on a keyboard without any of the distractions of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, none of that, just you and the page. It's a tool for writers. I can't stress how fantastic that is. As I stated, if you wanna write something, you got your computer or a pen and paper. Artists have canvases and paints and brushes that they can play with. We've got really nothing there unless you get typewriters, and then that gives you a fantastic array of different ways to type. Every typewriter is different. Each one has a different typing experience, slightly different font sizes, styles, requires more pressure, less pressure, has a different sound, has a different bell. The overall product is gonna be influenced by the machine that you use, and depending on what typewriter you use, you can get a really, really cool, interesting product that you wouldn't have gotten if you had just typed it up on your computer. And that's the thing about typewriters, is that you get interesting products because it allows you to make mistakes. There's no judgmental red underline. Whenever you make a spelling error, you just keep going forward. And if you're thinking about the more practical end of mistakes and spelling errors, you can always scan it as a PDF, transfer that PDF to a Word file, get the editable text, and edit your work afterwards. But just sit down on that typewriter and vomit your thoughts without second guessing yourself. You'll find that you really grow as a writer when you let yourself just be free to write whatever you want. The typewriter is a servant. It is not a controlling device. You type on the typewriter. The typewriter doesn't offer input. It doesn't say, well, do you think you mean this? It just writes what's in your head. There's a visual sense of pride Progress. Watching the page slowly go up as you slam the hammer every single line is a fantastic feeling and it makes you feel super accomplished and productive. The sound itself just screams productivity and the whole experience of writing on a typewriter really just is a cathartic experience, at least for me. If I'm feeling stressed out or exhausted or even bored, I just like to sit down on my typewriter and just blow off steam by pounding those keys, hearing those noises, slamming that hammer, watching the paper fly, watching a stack build to my right as I write more and more and more. That in and of itself is an experience which I think every writer needs to have at least once in their life. The first short story that I ever wrote on a typewriter was 12 pages long and it was a little difficult and there obviously were some downsides but just the visual progress that I felt I was making and the typing experience which had been robbed from me by low profile ergonomic clicky keyboards was just reborn and I created this story and I watched the stack next to me grow and I'm like you know what I think I think I've been missing something all these years, you know, writing on my MacBook. Well, if you want all those benefits, why don't you just get a free write or a word processor? And sure, those are fantastic options, but hear me out. They're not as sexy. Now here's what I'm talking about, right? Look at this thing. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous machine with fantastic colors. Plastics are kept to a minimum. Metal is kept to a maximum. It's a dense, well-built machine that's gonna outlive you and me and the whole experience of using it. You'll never know what I'm talking about until you go to some local shop that sells typewriters and start banging away on a typewriter. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I say the feeling of writing on a typewriter. It's something that's really unmatched by any computer or mechanical keyboard you could ever have. And the truth is people treasure typed notes more than digital notes. If you say to someone in an email like, oh, it was great 
great having you over for dinner and then you hit send, they're probably just gonna look at that and say, oh, that's nice and delete it. I've sent people things that I've typed on my typewriter and they've kept it for a long, long time. They'll have it on display and I'm like, I just sat down and typed this, but there's something about the structure and intimacy of a typewriter that when you create something on that greatly nostalgic aesthetic trying to think of other words to describe it, platform, and you give that to someone, it's a gift. There's an intentionality behind it, a kindness, a love, a passion that you just can't get from a computer. And really, in the end, that's all that a typewriter is about. It's about passion. It's a passion for what you're writing. It's a passion for forcing yourself to wear the ankle weights of no back buttons, forcing yourself to think things through before you write them, and also let go of your own inhibitions and just go with the flow. These are the things which make a typewriter worthwhile to me. And even if you're not a writer, the ability to send people heartfelt, warm letters through the mail is just a fantastic experience. Now, in the end, obviously, I want to discourage people from buying typewriters, using them once, and sticking them on a shelf. That's how typewriters die. People forget typewriters are tools. They're something in the writer's toolbox that they use to create a story, and they're meant to be used like tools. They're not meant to be put on a shelf and, you know, fawned over. And even though they're absolutely gorgeous machines, they deserve to be used. I would bring my typewriter with me to the writer's club at my school, and no one would touch it out of fear that they would break it. And I say, no, you don't understand. This is a hardy machine that's meant to be used and banged on and just used to create stories. Because the moment you stop pounding those keys is the moment they lock up and die from atrophy. Every day I need to sit down at that typewriter and I need to write on it. Not only so that I'll keep myself sharp as a writer, but so that I'll keep the machine sharp. You gotta keep the typewriter moving just like you gotta keep your imagination moving. And that's the only way you're gonna be a better writer is if you do it consistently on a consistent basis and typewriters force you to do that. Anyways guys, I hope that this rant of a video uh, was enjoyable. I hope that I was able to talk to you about why I like typewriters and why I appreciate typewriters. Uh, are you interested in more typewriter related content? Because I'm obsessed with typewriters and have no one to talk to about it. So comment down below if you'd be interested in seeing another video just like this uh, with more information, like practical stuff, how to find a typewriter, this and that. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'd like you all to stay positive and have an awesome day. See the exciting new Remington office writer at your dealers. The price only $149.50, carrying case at slight additional cost. Available after a small down payment for only $1.50 a week. Terms payable monthly, including taxes and a small carrying charge.